All right, today we're going to be adjusting the Z offset for our TiVo Tarantula. I added a magnetic mat and it added some height to it, so it's now squishing the first couple layers down, and that is not optimal. It's making it hard to remove rafts and causing some blobbing and defects and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and, as you can see, I am currently printing a calibration cube. Um, the first calibration cube I printed is right here. And you can see it's got quite a bit of elephant's foot there and some blobbing around the bottom edges. That is because I'm printing too close to the bed and that is because the Z offset is too low. So we need to raise that Z offset. And the way that we're going to do that is simply by jumping over to Prawner Face here. And I have already raised it once. That's why this one is printing decently, but it, I raised it too much. So now it's coming away from the bed. When this one's done printing, I'll show you that as well, but I got a good idea where I want to place this. So the first thing we want to do is enter an M501 command once we're connected to the printer. Uh, I'm connecting on the same port at the same baud rate and everything as Repeater does. It's just a little bit easier interface to read the return um, of your echoes in the G code here. So um, I'm looking at... This line right here, it says echo home offsets. You can see they're all set to zero, and the line is M206, okay? I am actually going to use an M206 to change it. And I need to raise my bed up. So in order to raise the Z, I'm gonna do M206Z. And in order to raise it up, I'm gonna do a negative number. And I'm gonna do 0 0.6, because that's right about where I wanna be, okay? Now I've adjusted it, but I need to store those settings. And in order to do that, to save it to the actual firmware on the machine, so it goes to that level every time, I need to do an M500. It says sending M500. And there you can see it says setting stored. So now if I do my M501 and look for the same echo line, here it is here, and it says my Z offset is 0 0.6, negative 0 0.6, in fact. This is also handy if you're printing on top of stuff. If you add a glass bed and you don't want to raise the end stop, you can just edit it in the end stop here. Um, you can print on all sorts of stuff using this method as long as you enter the right offset height. So uh, we can jump back over and I will show you this one when it's done and then we will show you the first layer of the next one and that's gonna be it for this video. It's pretty quick and simple. Uh, in order to do this, you do need to be able to connect to your printer. If you have a TiVo Tarantula Pro, you're going to need a special driver. I have a video available for that, um, and you can find the download. It's pretty simple to get connected. So uh, that's going to be it. Let me show you these wrap-up picks here. All right, so here's what we were working with before. You can see this cube's got some serious elephants footing at the bottom. Not optimal, and that's because the first couple layers were getting squished. Also, it only came out to 24 millimeters in the z-axis instead of the 25 it should have been. And here we have the opposite problem. You can see that the individual layer lines didn't fuse together, which means they were put down too far away from the bed and not creating one continuous line. So what I ended up with on this skirt here was three outer perimeters that joined together in a few places. Now this is a good indication you're too far away from your bed. And at this point, I probably could just level the bed to adjust for this problem, but I want to get as precise as I can and level from there. So we're going to continue, and this is why I lowered it down from that 0.1 to 0.6 offset. All right, and finally, here you can see what this should look like. One continuous line with no gaps in it. Uh, basically, those three layers it's laying in the skirt should be smushed just enough to fuse together. And that's what we're seeing here. So this is going to be a good starting point. I will make some minor leveling adjustments by hand, but the Z offset is now set to account for my magnetic mat addition. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. As always, thank you. I'll put a video up right here that you can check out for more of our stuff. And if you're still here and you haven't already, why don't you click right here and subscribe to the channel.